in the next two years, the AI systems I view as Microsoft and Amazon's are going to be radically transformed this four tech job. This isn't far off sci-fi's predictions, it's already happening. But if you are in one of these roles, don't take this as a doomsday warning. Think of it as a wake-up call and a roadmap. Hi everyone, my name is Trang, and as a software engineer who has been building and deploying AI at some of the biggest tech companies, I have been at the front row seat to these revolutions. I have seen the entire workflow that one took teams of people get boiled out to a single engineer, paired with an AI. The ground is shifting under our feet, and a lot of people are about to lose their balance. The World Economics Forum's Future of Job Reporting 2025 project that while only 2 million jobs will be replaced, 170 million new ones will be created. Thus, is in crisis. It is the single biggest resuffling of talents in our lifetime. And the only question that matter is, which size of that resuffles will you be on? In this video, I'm cutting through the hype to give you the unfiltered truth. We are going to break down the four tech jobs that are on the chopping block right now. But more importantly, I'm going to give you a clear, actionable plan with the exact skills you need to start learning today, not just to survive, but to become completely indispensable in the age of AI. Let's jump in with the first jobs that's already starting to fade. First up, the entry levels or junior software developer. This one is tough to talk about because for decades, this has been the golden ticket into the great tech career. The past was simple. Learn to code, learn a junior gig, write basic code, fix some bugs, and slowly climb your way up. That ladder is being rebuilt. The core tasks of the junior developers, like writing boilerplate code, simple functions, debugging and unit tests, are now being automated with efficiency. AI coding assistants like GitHub Copilot are way beyond fancy autocomplete now. They can generate an entire backend service, drop complex APIs, and build unit test suite from a single Unix prompt. In fact, GitHub has reported that developers are up to 55% more productive when using Copilot. This is no longer just writing code. This is about leveraging AIs to do it faster and better. From the business standpoint, the logic is brutal and simple. Why hiring three junior developers when one senior engineer, supercharged with an AI, can match the output of a much larger team? Startup and huge corporations are on doing this math right now. This causes a squeeze on entry level role, and we are seeing the effect in the form of tech layoff, with companies openly shifting investments from new hire to AI. The very tasks designed to give new developers experience are the exact things AI excel at. So the question is no longer just can you code, but can you architect, manage, and validate code that an AI generate? The role isn't gone, but it is evolving into something that demands much higher levels of strategic thinking right from the start. The second job that is rapidly changing is the manual quality assurance, or QA, tester. For years, this is another reliable doorway into tech. The jobs, while sometimes tedious, were straightforward. Click to the apps, follow test scripts, and lock the bugs you find. AI now is lifting the entire fields on its head. AI-powered testing platform can now automate what was once a purely manual process. This tool can automatically generate thousands of test cases, mimic the complex user behaviors, and even perform visual testing, finding pixels perfect errors a human could absolutely miss. When a bug is found, these AI systems don't just flag it. They provide risk data, including logs and reproduction steps, making the developer's life way easier. This isn't just a theory. The industry is already shifting. As a result, dedicated manual QA's role are being phased out. The future of quality assurance isn't just about clicking buttons, it is about strategies and engineering. The job that remains are for QA architectures and software development engineers in tests. 
This highly technical role focused on designing, building, and managing the AI's powered automated testing pipeline, not running the test by hand. The touch of facing the measures overhaul is basic data analytics or report builder. This role has been a cornerstone of every data focused company. The daily grills usually involve pulling data, cleaning it up, and building dashboards like Tableau or Power BI. Every single one of those tasks is a perfect target for AI automations. Generated AI tool can now plug directly into database, understand requests in natural language, and spit out complex SQL query instantly. A manager can just type, show me last quarter's sales growth in the Northeast, break down by product. And an AI can create a full report with charts in seconds. Gardner's, a major research company, make a bold prediction that by 2026, significant portions of data stories, the reports that we build in data, will be automatically generated by AI. This trend automates the core functions of junior data analysts, making the roles of a simple go between for data and business obsolete. So why would companies pay someone to spend a week building a dashboard when an AI can deliver deeper insights in a heartbeat? This doesn't mean data jobs are disappearing, as is far from it. But the skill bars have been raising dramatically. The demand is shifting from people who can pull data to true data scientists and AI machine learning engineers who can build complex models and use data to make strategic forward-looking predictions. The routine's backward-looking reported jobs, however, is clearly on a path to transformations. The fourth jobs in our list today is the Tier 1 and Tier 2 IT support specialists. These are the people on the front line, handling that endless river of password reset, VPN problems, and basic troubleshootings. This is a role defined by repetitive, predictable problems. And if there is one thing AI is great at, it is repetitions and predictability. The old school help desk is being replaced by smart AI powered chatbot. And no, these are not the chunky, frustrated bot from a few years ago. Modern AI agents can understand natural language, pull from knowledge, and work users through complex fixings in real time. If an employee's VPN isn't connecting, an AI can diagnose the problems, checking their systems, and push a fix on without humans ever getting involved. This is all part of move towards what the system called Zero Touch IT, where common problems get solved automatically, sometimes before the user even knows there is an issue. This effectively wipes out the needs for a lot of staff of frontline support agents. The career path of studying at the front desk and working up is fundamentally breaking. You won't be able to build a career on solving the same 10 problems over and over, because a machine will soon do it for free. OK, those are the four roles seeing the biggest, fastest changes. Now I want to hear from you in the comment below. Is there the fifth job you think should have been on this list? Drop your thought below, I will read every single one, and I'm curious to see what you have been seeing out there. This is the most exciting part. This is where you will get ahead of everyone else. General advice is illness, so I will give you a concrete project-based plan. This isn't just about learning. This is about building a portfolio proof to any employer that you can use this new superpower. Here is your portfolio roadmap, starting with project one and building your way up. One, the smart to-do list. Build a simple to-do list app, but give it one superpower. Use an API called a large language model to catalyze tasks like work or urgent. This simple project proves you got the single most important skills. Integrating AI to build smarter features. Project two, a customer's review helper. Next, you want to build a tool that solve a real business problems. Ingest customer review and use an AI for sentiment analysis to sort them into happy, unhappy, or urgent. 
This shows employers you can use AI to turn messy data into clean, actionable business intelligence. Project 3. The Cheat Sheet Chatbot. It is a showstopper project. Retrieval, retrieval argument, almond. Build a chatbot using a technique called retrieval almonds or RAG. This is the fancy terms for a brilliant idea. You give an AI specific set of documents and force it to only answer questions based on that information. This is holy grail for business that want to use AIs with their private company's data safely. Building this show you are ready for a serious AI engineering role. I will have bonus project here. If you want to go to the next level, building an AI that doesn't just talk but act. You can create the travel planners that can check real-time flight prices, look up the weather, and then send you an email itinerary. This demonstrates you can build AI that interacts with real world, which is the future of all of this. And here is the crucial last steps. Don't just build these things. Document your journey, write a blog post, or a detailed GitHub readme for each project. Explain the problems, the choice you made, and the challenge you overcame. This is how you prove you don't just know how to code, you know how to think. Next, I will have the three biggest mistakes you should avoid. Mistake 1. Blindly trusting the AI. An AI would like to use with a total unshakable confidence. Your new job is to be the skeptics, the adults in the room. Treat the AI like a brilliant student who is incredibly fast but have zero real-world wisdom. You must carefully test any code as generated. Your skepticism is your value. Mistake 2. Use AI as a crush, not a tool. It's a tempting to just copy and paste AI-generated code without understanding it. Don't. That makes you weaker, not stronger. Instead, use the AI as the most patient teacher. If it's if you code, you don't understand. Your next prompt should be, extend this to me, line by line. Use AI to become smarter, not lazier. Mistake 3. Way to become an expert. This is the most common excuse. I will start when I have more time. This is a fatal mistake because this technology is moving too fast. The only way to learn is by doing. You will learn more from a weekend's building that smart to-do list than from a month of passively watching videos. Momentum is everything. Start small and start now. The AI revolution is not coming. It is here and it's picking up speed. The role we are talking about are not just changing. They are being fundamentally reborn into higher skills positions. Trying to compete with AIs on repetitive work is a game you will lose. The choice is clear. You can either be replaced by these technologies, or you can be the persons who will use it. Knowing which jobs are at risk is the first step. The next and the most important is understanding exactly how to shift into these futures proof roles. So click on the video on the screen now so you can learn how to build an app in 15 minutes with Cursor AI. Don't just wait here. The future does not.